Uh, next video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, another theorist called Prop, who identifies characters within uh, films and which can be applied to video games. Uh, so, um, and he identifies a number of different characters, and we find these within all types of uh, sort of films or video games. The first one is the hero. Okay, so these are often the main character or characters, uh, and the. Uh, uh, and it will either be within a film the audience can associate with them or if it's in the, within the game it's the one that you usually play um, and they're usually the person what, who the story is told around uh, sometimes they can also take on the whole idea of the victim or the seeker now you know the victim for example we could look in video games where you know uh, someone gets shot within a game and then they are um, cured, or we could look at G, you know, take GTA as an example, GTA three or four, where the uh, Nico Bellic is the victim at the start, uh, and he's also seeking the quest to be all powerful and to get money, etc., etc., uh, and then he becomes a hero through the game. Uh, here's some examples of people from video games. You know, we've got uh, Marcus from Gears of War, we've got Mario, we've got Master Chief. Master Chief. We've got Link, we've got Ryu, we've got the guy from, uh, sorry, Assassin's Creed, uh, Devil May Cry chap, and loads of others. So that's number one. Number two is the villain. Okay, so they are specifically a contrast to the hero and usually oppose them. So they're the bad guy, basically. Uh, usually they're ba morally bad and they... they mirror the goodness of the hero and usually they're there to seek or to prevent the hero from uh, achieving their goal here's some examples from games we've got Wario, we've got Bison from Street Fighter Robotnik from Sonic Bowser from Mario and Ganondorf I'm not too sure what game he's from uh, but we've also got you know, and film we've got the Joker and we've got the, the evil guy from Harry Potter uh, Voldemort the he who shouldn't be named ok next we've got the princess Okay, so the princess is often seen as a reward for the hero, uh, or maybe coveted by the false hero. For example, think of Mario as an example. Um, they may be seen, uh, or not seen, very much in the story. Uh, or they could be in the middle, right, seen at the end, or they could be uh, someone who um, follows the character throughout the missions that they're on. Uh, for example... If you play you know, The Walking Dead, that would be Clementine. <laughs> Clementine is the princess, but she follows the main character in episode one uh, or in season one uh, on his adventure to you know, uh, find her family. Um, uh, the, the princess may also um, be the object that the hero is trying to rescue or the sought after object and you can see this in Mario when all the Mario games Prince of the Princess Peach gets taken by Bowser and Mario has to find her and get her back next we've got the princess's father um, Toad as an example of this um, he's usually the key figure uh, and he persuades the, the hero to basically do something or go and protect his daughter or to go and find his daughter or get her back or to rescue X, Y, and Z. Um, he, he's usually the one which will dispatch the hero on the mission to save the princess. Now, just bear this in mind. The princess may necessarily, may, you know, it might not be a character, but the princess, we could apply this to the idea of uh, a, a um, type to... Of a, uh, as a country or as a continent or a group of people uh, when, when we're thinking about this. So you could have someone who's like the princess's father, like someone within Call of Duty, it tells uh, Shepard or Soap to go and do the mission. Um, we, we also may get the princess's father who's also in competition with the hero for the princess's affection. Um, or the princess father could be someone that's a villain or someone that's quite evil where the um, hero has to rescue her from him. So he could have a th uh, three or four different roles. Um, then we've got the false hero. 
Okay, and the false hero is someone that's within a game who is usually seen, or a film, which is usually seen as good, uh, uh, and he may act heroically, um, and he can be mistaken for the real hero. Um, and usually they appear evil as the game goes, or the film goes on. Um, for example, they may try to, they may have good intentions at the start, but as the game progresses, or the film progresses, they become more and more evil. And that can be seen if you know anything about Gears of War, where you've got Richard Prescott. Uh, you can see it in Star Wars with Darth Vader, uh, or in the Star Wars film where you've got Emperor Paladin at the beginning, you know, in episodes one, two, and three. Where initially he seems good, but then as the film progresses, and as we get into episodes four, five, and six, you can see he's turned into the Emperor, he's taken over the world, he's on the dark side, etc., etc. Okay, then we've got the Helper. And the helper is the person who supports the hero on their quest. Okay, so you may see them throughout the story, or they may appear at critical moments. Um, you know, and with this is, you can see this in most films and games. There's always someone that's there to help. You know, Catwoman uh, drawing on Clementine again from um, the Walking Dead game. Uh, you know, the characters that appear in GTA 4, for example, etc., uh, etc., and in films, we've got like Donkey on Shrek, and we've got Robin from Batman, um, etc. Then we've got the donor. And the donor is a person who gives the hero within the, within the game or within the film an object that will help them on their quest. Uh, it's something that they need to be able to complete this. Um, and he could also be that, which is the, uh, this role could also be someone who is seen as the helper. So, uh, for example, Snape could be seen as this in Harry Potter. Okay, or we've got characters within World of Warcraft, uh, you know, who are, uh, who give certain items to uh, people who are doing quests, which means they need that item to complete the quest. Um, uh, so it can be a, it can be a, a wide variety of people who could take this role within video games. Finally, we've got the dispatcher, and this dispatcher is the person that sends the person on their mission. Okay, so it could be a princess, it could be the princess's father, it could be an anti-hero, it could be the uh, false hero, sorry, or any of those. Um, and we can find this easily in games uh, or in film. We've got, you know, uh, we've got like Yoda in Star Wars, uh, sends Luke Skywalker on his way, you know, to, to, to learn about the Force and to conquer Darth Vader. We've got the people, the guys in Call of Duty who send... Um, their characters or the main character to go and do something. Um, we've got in any game there will always be a dispatcher, you know, all the way through to stuff like Candy Crush. And in Candy Crush, you know, on the mobile phone, we've got like uh, the little character who sends you to go on to the next level to do the next thing. So there is always that in all sorts of um, games and films. So that's the next uh, podcast all done for you.